Not only is this year a milestone for Articat with its 50th anniversary celebrations, this is also a huge year for our friend Brad Darling, who is the first Canadian to take the reins as the general manager of snowmobiles for Articat in North America. This is going to be our best launch, and you know what, next launch, whatever, it's going to be our best launch, but when you look back, you know, 1990 Prowler, great launch. I remember being part of that as a dealer, and it was exciting. And then you look at the, the ZR or ZR that came out, and then you look at the Firecat, and then you look at the F, and we kept on getting better and better, and, and it, it really, you know, you need that, that, I'll use Roger's word, inspiration of looking what's next and figuring out what our customers do want and get the customer feedback. So today, because I'm, uh, I'm part of Articat in a new role, 50th anniversary 2012 lineup that we have, I think this is our best launch. Because I have a saying, and, and some people actually laugh at me about it, is never forget where you came from. As, as most of you guys know, I grew up in a dealership. I really enjoy going out, visiting dealers, visiting customers, being at the show. And guess what? We got a lot of customer feedback. With Articat, I think that's one thing of our asset that we look for all the time is our customers. They're telling us what they want. You know, we get a little hung up sometimes on what we think we want. Then we get that little reality check. And what you're seeing in 2012, it's exciting. It's going to fit our customers' needs. As an effective communicator, Brad has a theory for success. And it starts with listening to customers when looking ahead to sled development. Well, consumer feedback will always be there. Again, I told you before, is never forget where you came from, but what happens is, is that we'll talk to our dealers, and guess what, we'll talk to our customers. And what you're gonna see in 2012 is exactly what our customers have told us. And, and our customers is our dealer and our consumer, but we, start, we had several breakout sessions with a lot of consumers. We end up verifying our uh, design with, you know, we narrowed it down to three. We took it to Heydays, which is a great environment to put it in. That's sledders, and guess what? They told us what they wanted, and we were right on. Cameras for Snowmobiler TV have captured some serious hardware over the years, but never one quite like this hybrid bad boy. While touring the Edmonton Snowmobile Show, we found this new Yamaha Nipex. Here's the scoop. So this is a Nipex, which means nitro apex combined. Basically, it's got a, a nitro chassis with an apex motor. So gone here in this custom project and made it uh, put a four-cylinder motor into the three-cylinder chassis and it's not for everybody we know that but basically you're uh, it's a custom custom dream if you will so it's uh, pretty much a full CR chassis CR racing uh, chromoly tube chassis with carbon fiber wrap the skin so a lot of lightweight componentry in there we got the uh, MCX turbo MCX Nipex turbo it's one of the only ones in North America at this point we got some slide dog skis on it some Fox shocks you know, we have some all the CR chassis components, a mountain mod seat. So, a lot of horsepower, kind of a lightweight sled, very custom. Big three inch Camelplast 174 by 16 wide. So a lot of meat to turn there and climb those big bad shoots that they seem to grow in BC. Basically, it's a standard Apex engine stock componentry. It's got a head shim in it to lower the compression to run the, the, the turbo. So it makes 290 horsepower on pump fuel about 350 horsepower on good fuel, so you up the fuel quality, and it'll make about 350 horse at peak. Super turnkey reliable, that motor's got an awful lot of miles on it. That's a, that's a motor I've had for a while, and it's making some lots of, lots of power, and it's uh, incredibly reliable, and that's why I love the four strokes. They make big power, super reliable, durable, and they make big ground speed on the hill. So when you're climbing a chute, you got that four stroke power and the torque of a four stroke, compared to say something else. They have a lot of mid speed, a lot of hill speed in the middle of the hill because they have the torque. And that's, that's why a lot of these bad hill climbers, they're, they're choosing the four stroke power just because of the torque, even in the deep powder. That's where they really shine. If you spend any time near Revelstoke, you know Randy's reputation for creativity, we'll call it. Combining a nitro with an apex is something only he could dream up. But don't go running off to your dealer looking to drop your pesos on a new Nipex, as this radical ride is just a one-off for Mr. Swenson. When 
STV returns some serious suspension technology.